Did the architects build this? Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The Underworld. The entire planet relies on her. No. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya! Poverty without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call? It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You can. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you! Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then... then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! All of you... <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to... Bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Till a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me, a subversion of the old order, and the welcoming of a new world, and compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. 
Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment. Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Bronya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kakoya, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Say, we are guardians, mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So... This is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. <sighs> you know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands, and you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Earth Attack's Engine Machines! Watch out, all of you!
gosh, this signal's terrible. Himeko, you finally spared a thought for us. What are you talking about? Well done, I've been up on the street. And you the time. You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. So, how did that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. Searching 
this way! It's too dangerous here! <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Only I... Only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city. All of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all.
Defend the weak. The power of the stellar arm is with me. Informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. <sighs> the storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the Engine of Creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Balaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do.
Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please, protect this secret with me, till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the Overworld and the Underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the Underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative District. I need to tell Jabard. Sir, uh... Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? <sighs> I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellabog's sake. Wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from the Nook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mmm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Are you alright? Are you hurt anywhere? Do you feel dizzy? Tired? Or... I don't know, Sila. I feel... cold all over. Isn't that normal? This place is freezing. <laughs> Let's get out of here before you catch a cold, too. Don't worry. I'm a tough cookie. Here. Hold on to me. Let's go. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this. But we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Uh, Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. 
So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Through patting yourself on the back? Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia's no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> The blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Hmm, roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly... <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. Shame the mining team's hard up right now. Oh, to do with us? Eh, I'm listening. Whoa, you mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the overworld? Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty and you won't have to rely on the charity of others. I... <laughs> Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, We'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the Architects. put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, 
Compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Oh, is everyone all right? <sighs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparag and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. You have visitors, Clara. Oh! It's the variables! There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Svarog said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March! Everyone! Thank you so much! I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <laughs> I smell it too. For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda, but for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The
The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. So this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. Uh, we've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down zone out and watch the people coming and going and let the day just pass me by enjoy the peace and quiet natasha we earned it <laughs> it's japard is he here to meet us he's still on duty <laughs> he must have recovered quickly Welcome back to the Administrative District, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Uh, uh, excuse me. Are you Captain Oleg? Well, huh? I didn't think anyone would still remember my name after all this time. Of course we remember! Every young guard knows about your courageous exploits. Oh? Which ones might they be? The time I finished off that rampaging prowler with just three bullets? Or when I defended the outpost from monsters for six days straight without food or water? I haven't heard of either of them, actually, but I'd love to hear all about them. <laughs> sure. In which case, I'll cut my walk short and tell you all the grisly details. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling. When you stop and look back on the things you've done, and wonder at all the obstacles you've overcome. The strength you've displayed. And then you start to doubt yourself. And wonder if you've lost that drive. If everything were to happen again, would you still stand strong? You do? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's good to know someone in this world feels the same way as me. to sit back once over the past ten years. A moment's negligence could have brought wildfire crashing down. And the underworld would have been beyond saving. Staying vigilant wasn't the issue. It was the not knowing whether I'd ever be able to let my guard down again. No matter what anyone says, I believe your arrival was the reward for my long vigil. Thank you, Trailblazer. Wow! Did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just ran past! I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. It's called... Don't worry about the name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> 
We'll defeat the Iron Monster and shave the people in its tummy! Um... I don't think that's how it works. Citizens of Bellabar, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabar, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kakulia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and Underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together, people of the Underworld, I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering, but I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabar will not recover his former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Ren, the 19th Guardian of Bellabar, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation was spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't 
know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. for her to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means... the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> my scoring criteria are different from yours. Anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos. If you walk with your head down and your heart full of fear, your steps will grow heavier and your spirit will suffer. But... If you find something to look up to and move forward with hope, then your steps will grow lighter. And if you should fall, you'll be on your feet before you know it. Thank you for teaching me this, Trailblazers. Rania said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Forever. In that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Here we are, Everwinter Monument. Photo time! Oh, Kayla and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. Two next. Oh, we haven't seen Serval since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to not before? <laughs> it's you three. Oh, come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Photo. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Miss 
Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Wanna learn some cool poses? a better shot than this one. Um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. Never mind, at least it's memorable. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? <sighs> I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. But thanks, Mr. Vol. Big sister, March. Dunhong, thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the Express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on! Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do! At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <sighs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my... We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. Get Himiko's message? It's time to go. Uh, the conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Here we are at last. Uh, it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey! I'm not that heartless, you know. 